if you take a look down here with me, you can see the water from the creek. It's actually creeping up past these barricades here and then back behind us even further. That's where you can really see this high, fast moving water. We're getting a better look at all the damage left behind by these devastating floods. Let's first take a look behind me at this bridge. This is the Fisher Store Road Bridge here in Wimberley. The roadway completely swept off its pillars. It's kind of a give and take. The X Games bring tons of people here to Austin, but they also shut down roads. This one here, Congress Avenue between 9th and 10th, still shut down this morning. Really easy. You don't even have to leave your house. You can make an emergency kit, and these are some of the supplies that should be in that kit. A large water bottle filled with water. You can also get a lot of smaller water bottles if that's easier for you. A first aid kit stocked with supplies. We have some band-aids, some sanitary wipes right here. Also a map with local roadways. We also learned that the biggest challenge investigators are facing right now is the sheer amount of evidence. They've collected over 50 weapons from this parking lot. As we know, it doesn't take very long at all to send a text message, just about five seconds. But TxDOT says those five seconds, they equal about driving the same distance as a football field if you were wearing a blindfold. And it all started right here around Stastny Lane, but police closed I-35 from about William Cannon all the way up to Ben White. What happened here overnight and what's still continuing this morning, take a look behind me. You can see that car. The water is up over the wheels of that car. Now this area of water has been expanding throughout the morning. We actually had to move our equipment back twice because the water was creeping up toward us. But Leslie, can you pan around over here? These ones, at least if you can see, they go really far. They actually span the entire road. So these ones here are very hard to drive around, but the ones you're going to want to be careful about are the other ones that are smaller and do leave gaps either on the sides of the road or in the middle. Many local animal shelters this morning are already overcrowded and that's why they're telling pet owners like me and both of you guys, Chris and Allie, to be on the lookout for stressed behavior during the fireworks over this holiday weekend. Gates here at the Rot Rally don't open for another couple hours still, but take a look at this. People already starting to line up on the streets trying to be those first few people inside the gates and we walked up and down there a couple times. Everyone is in a great mood and it's going to look a whole lot different later tonight. There's going to be a live stage for music right here at this intersection of 6th and Congress. But not only that, there's going to be thousands of people lining the streets all along that parade route. She didn't want to go on camera, but she told me that she and her girlfriend had been together for 26 years and they're very excited to make it official today. According to these court documents, an assistant principal at the school also saw something that he was concerned about back in January. Thank you driving right past the scene right now. Police have it blocked at the end of the street. They're not letting anyone in, including media. They're keeping media far away. Here's the scene right here. We're passing by right now. The entire street is blocked down. Crime scene units on scene. This happened last night, but there's still tons of glass and debris lining the streets. I found this just about an hour ago. You can clearly see it's the Chevrolet logo, and police say a Chevy Camaro was one of the vehicles involved in that crash. You may have noticed I made a little bit of a wardrobe change, and that's because it's starting to rain, and that always only makes traffic worse, as you've been talking about. So many times traffic nearly stops leading up to and going through this stretch of the city. This is my ticket for all of my infractions. They include cell phone use, texting, swerving.